Hello everyone and welcome to a section titled Creating a Simple Application Using Razor Templates. In this section we'll learn a bit about the Razor Templating Engine and then move on to building a book library app using Razor Templates. We will then incorporate the SQLite-NET NuGet package that will allow our app to communicate with the SQLite.NET database. We will then move on to creating a book library database wrapper class and database model that will communicate with the SQLite Dash net library. Finally, we'll create each of the book library razor pages and launch this within the iOS emulator. So let's get started. Understanding the razor templating engine. So in this video, we'll learn a bit about the razor templating engine, as well as the components of a razor template solution. Then we'll look at the differences between using the razor template static model class and the SQLite database model class within your razor pages. So firstly, let's gain an understanding into what exactly is the Razor Templating Engine. So the Razor Templating Engine was first introduced as part of the ASP.NET MVC architecture and was originally designed to run on a web server to generate HTML files so that they can be served to web browsers. So since Razor made its first appearance on the development scene, the Razor Templating Engine has come a significant long way and now extends the standard HTML syntax. Razor is a markup syntax for embedding server-based code into your web pages. The Razor syntax consists of a Razor markup, JavaScript and HTML files containing Razor code. HTML files containing Razor code are generally identified as having a .cshtml file extension. So let's look at the components that make up a Razor template solution. So a Razor template solution is divided into three separate folders. Firstly, we have models. So this section is responsible for representing the model that each of your views will use. And it contains a structure of fields that will be displayed and or written to by our Razor templates. In the resources folder, this section contains a place for you to add all of your images and CSS cascading style sheets or JavaScript files that your application will use. In the views folder, this section is responsible for containing all of your HTML5 Razor templates that your application will be referencing. And these need to contain and be prefixed with the .cshtml extension. So let's take a look at using the static model class with your Razor templates. So each Razor template has the ability to reference a model class using the app model directive. And this can be of any custom type. And each of the properties contained within the model class are easily accessible within the template. So this is because you can mix HTML and JavaScript syntax very easily. So as you can see in the picture here, you have your Razor template prefixed with a .cshtml extension. Then you have your model. So this is your static model class here, which has a series of properties. And then to your right, you have the rendered Razor HTML page, which has been rendered on the device in a web view. So let's have a look at using the SQLite database model within your Razor templates. So you can use a Razor template to reference a model class using the app model directive to communicate with a SQLite database. You can then write to those properties contained within the model then display the information within those properties within your template. So as you can see here, similar to the static model class, we have our Razor template here, then we have our model, and then we have our SQLite database that has some code. And the code here references the model, converts it to a list, and then we reference our template, which is the name of our Razor file, which is called to-do list, and then we assign the model to use for our template. We call the generate string method that generates the, the the information for our template as you can see below here and that gets rendered within the web view on the device so any additional information on razor templates can be found at the following link so if we jump over to our chrome browser you can see the based on that link when it's pasted into your browser you'll get the following page which gives you an introduction to asp.net web program using the razor syntax so on this page you'll see a series of how to use Razor templates and the Razor syntax. And as you can see here, it shows you all of the, how you can add code to a page using the at character, how to iterate and display the contents within the web browser. So you can read that at your own leisure. 